going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video my name is Jacob and uh, thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video secondly this video is a bit of an experiment it's the first of what I hope to be many in a video series I don't have a title for at the moment but basically it's gonna be myself as you all know sitting down one-on-one -on -one, discussing a certain topic whatever it may be something that obviously affects me enough or I, you know, I might have some, some personal opinions on the matter, or possibly even a personal story to tell. Similar to Chael Sonnen, you know, he, he, he's basically formed a successful, very successful and very entertaining YouTube channel around him sitting down in a chair just like this and discussing topics. Discussing topics that he has enough either knowledge or, you know, inside information to make it interesting, right? So I'm not going to sit down and, and talk shit. I'm going to sit down and talk about people, talk about topics, talk about things that happen in the world, specifically in the world of sports, um, that affect me. And there is one guy and one news story uh, that has affected me recently. It's made me very, very proud. You know, it's made me just, just, just uh, happy, to be honest. Happy that I've seen a journey like this from the beginning and, you know, come to fruition in the way that it has. So Jordan Mailata first... Uh, Travelled to the United States in February of 2018 to attend the IMG Academy. I first came across Jordan Mailata in mid 2020, uh, sorry, mid 2018, when I decided to start doing Rugby Player Reacts videos. And his story affected me so much because of the fact that it was current. So I, I, was, I was literally watching the episodes of Undiscovered come out, you know, as they came out. So I was watching this this story, I was watching this 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 undiscovered series and um, it inspired me. It inspired me, it gave me some incredible content to react to in those early days and it, it, it you know, it got me on, on the bandwagon of, of Jordan Mailata becoming a success in the NFL. Now when I first started watching NFL, I never realized just how big for a start um, the linemen are and especially uh, you know in the position of either left or right tackle it's your job to protect that quarterback by any means necessary and I'd seen Jordan Mailata as a, a rugby player prior to going over to the US and, and he at his size is basically a bulldozer he's a wrecking ball he's six foot eight running a five second 40 yard dash at 350 pounds oh but also um, he was 19 years old so the guy was just running through absolutely everybody. He got picked up by the South Sydney Rabbitohs, played in the under-20s competition. And I dare say that if he didn't, in February of 2018, you know, take a massive risk, never having even put a football helmet on, let alone play the game. It was his pure God-given genetics, plus a highlight tape or two, that got his foot in the door, got him over there to the States with this opportunity presented to him. And I tell you what, he took it. He took it with both hands. And here we are, three and a half years later, he's done what any rookie NFL player dreams of doing, and that is playing out their first contract and securing their second, the bag, securing the bag, so to speak. And I'll tell you what, Jordan Mailata has done just that. So if you do want to go back into my video library, check out Rugby Player Reacts to NFL Undiscovered 2018, and you know, you can... Uh, relive some of the incredible moments that we had together me Jordan Mailata and you guys you know to see this guy get drafted without ever having attended a college or high school in the states that's unheard of well actually it's not because he was the second player to do that behind a German guy the year before pretty sure he went to the Vikings anyway Philadelphia Eagles pick up Jordan Mailata late in the draft I think it was in the eighth round I think it was in the seventh or eighth round with pick number 230 something um, it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day a team did believe in him in the Philadelphia Eagles and uh, what they got in those early stages was a, a canvas a blank canvas uh, someone that you know an offensive line coach could literally take under their wing or well Theoretically, I mean the guy's six foot eight and three hundred and fifty pounds. No one's gonna be putting him under their wing. So in those early days we saw a couple of preseason clips, uh, one of him in the locker room serenading the team on a ukulele, which seems that much smaller in uh, a guy like Jordan Mailata's hands, but um he was in there, he was a part of the team. He was probably I'm gonna say the biggest and heaviest 
player on the entire Eagles roster. And when you think about that, when you've got linemen that have you know, come through the ranks, come through high school, college, they've seen it all, come through the NFL, they've seen absolutely everything. Can you imagine what they thought when this 20 year old Australian comes walking through the door, only just, and you know, he's never played the game before, but is so genetically gifted. I just don't know what they would have thought. I've never seen a guy that big. I've never ever seen a man six foot eight and 350 pounds. I've seen a guy six foot eight, but they're not normally that big. This is Shaq. This is Shaq in his prime, plus about 50 pounds, minus about four inches. Put it that way. So three more things I want to discuss. Jordan Mailata, as the title suggests, has become the richest athlete in Australian sports history. So to make the comparison between a $64 million contract over four years, with 40 million guaranteed, that's 10 million guaranteed per year, plus an additional 6 million in potential earnings. That takes him to $16 million a year, but after securing that bag, after you know his name going worldwide now, I can safely say that in endorsements he's going to be earning that much more. Which takes him, I'm going to say, officially, to $17 million a year. And in comparison to Australia's highest paid athletes in the past, a couple of basketballers, pretty high profile, uh, one was actually the first pick, the first overall pick, and that was Andrew Bogut. And I'm pretty sure at the height of his career, he was earning $16.9 million a year. Paddy Mills is at that level as far as fame, as far as success in the NBA. He's an Australian, and I'm pretty sure his top contract was worth around about $5 million a year. Now, these stats are not confirmed. I am pulling from my brain. I can't confirm them. You guys are going to have to. Another athlete, Adam Scott. I'm pretty sure around six or seven million was his highest year of earnings. Now, Adam Scott is a previous PGA Masters, US Open. Look, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure it was the Masters. That gold jacket, is that the one? I'm not a huge golf fan, obviously. But anyway, look, there's been some really high profile, worldwide, viral type athletes from Australia Yet, none of them have ever earned as much as Jordan Mailata is set to earn over the next four years. It's absolutely incredible. The man is 24. He went over to the States when he was 20. He's now 24. He's obviously matured in, in more ways than one, but I think, I, I think the, uh, the way that he's matured the most would have to be his football brain, right? His football nous. You know, preparing his body over these last three years to become a starting left tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the second piece of information, second wee story, this is a personal story actually, uh, Chael Sonnen would be proud. Jordan Mailata saw my reactions to the Undiscovered series in late 2018. He reached out to me. This is before he had a blue check mark on Instagram. He reached out to me, he said, look, actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab my phone. Nick minute. You know, I'm only going to make this video once, so I may as well go straight to the source, straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak, and look up Jordan Mailata. There he is. Okay. On the 24th of August 2018, he sent me a message. My guy, watched your reaction videos to our NFL program and loved every minute of it. Just wanted to show some love, man. There's still three more episodes, so stay tuned. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, you know, to discover, no pun intended, the NFL Undiscovered series, whilst the episodes were being dropped to discover not only an Australian, I'm from New Zealand, but you know, it's pretty close. We're like brother and sister, but not only an Australian, but also an Australian rugby player. Being a rugby player myself, entitling my videos, Rugby Player Reacts to a certain video, it was just, it was incredible. And this guy reached out to me, he sent me a message, and it really inspired me. It inspired me to not only continue with my Rugby Player Reacts videos, but it also inspired me to actually give the game a go. You know, a rugby player can actually be successful in the league. Now, Jordan Mailata was never gonna be a running back, which is the position I wanted to play. But it just goes to show that the skills and the attributes of a rugby player can transition successfully to the NFL. Anyway, three episodes to go, stay tuned. Bro, what a legend. Thanks so much for reaching out. I love watching it, so proud and such an epic storyline for me and everyone else to follow. So there's eight episodes in total? Sweet. I thought there was only five. You know I'll stay tuned, big guy. Keep inspiring. And I sent that message on the 24th of August, 2018. That's over three years ago. He said, my bro, I had to reach out. Your reaction was too good to not. Three more episodes. The director was actually the one who hit me up about you telling me to watch it. If you have any questions, let us know, mate. 
I said, awesome, bro. I'd hope you catch a glimpse of it somehow. And there you go. Props to the director for that. Honestly, production of the NFL videos is so awesome, I could react to them all day. That deep narrator voice and the slow motion shots do it for me. Ha ha. Well, I, well yep, I guess I got one question then. When is the next episode coming out? And, uh, well, look. Things got really busy for him and he never got back to me, but that's okay. In 2019, I was launching my business, Major Kiefer X, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try and leverage this relationship. I'm going to try and get Jordan Mailata to rock a 3XL top, right? Because, because the t-shirts that I was coming out with were sized up to 3XL, and I thought, you know what? That actually might fit this guy. So I hit him up. He was really keen, but unfortunately, he was already sponsored by Johnny Big, which is a clothing company for big men which makes sense. Anyway, he said he'd love to help out, but he's going to have to check with his agent. Uh, basically, at that point, I realized it's probably not going to happen, so I said, look, best of luck. Uh, give me a postal address, and I'll, I'll take care of the rest. And So he was keen to help. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, and uh, the next message I sent was actually just last Sunday, saying, congrats, my man, on the latest news. I'm still watching. And so, you know, it's times like that where you really realize the, the power of the internet and the power of YouTube. And... Um, you know, that's not the first time and it's probably not the last time that a player in the NFL has watched one of my reactions to their video and reached out to me. Uh, there's been the Ravens, there have been the Jacksonville Jags, there has been Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks, and you know, hopefully the list goes on. So the third thing I do want to mention, and I would be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't, is Jared Hayne. Now, Jared Hayne was the first reason I ever took an interest in the NFL. It took me another three years to decide, you know what? Rugby's good, but it's only going to take me so far. I want to learn, I want to learn this sport, this, this primetime US sport. And here we are, three and a half years later. What a journey. Would never have expected it. But the first inkling I got of the game was, was Jared Hayne. And I'm going to say that I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan Mailata's first thought of the NFL, first thought of making a success of himself as a rugby player in the world of NFL was when he saw Jared Hayne. So whether it's Jared in 2015, whether it's Jordan in 2018, whether it's any of these kickers, I mean, Michael Dixon came through, Mitch Wisnowski came through. You know, Dixon was 2018, Wisnowski was 2019. Now, obviously, now obviously, as far as excitement levels, for me, a left tackle, okay, fair enough. Not going to be the most exciting position for me to watch. Although, although when I do watch a Philadelphia Eagles game from now on, that will be the moment. That will be, those will be the times where I actually focus on the linemen more so than any other players on the field. So that's going to be interesting. But for me personally, a left tackle, no. A kicker, no. A punter, no. But a running back, yes. So Jared Hayne and what he was able to do in the league as a rugby player really inspired me the most. And I know it's inspired a hell of a lot of other people but the man we're talking about today is Jordan Mailata, the big six foot eight, three hundred and fifty plus pound fucking monster. Talk about pancake blocks. <laughs> I'll tell you what, first and foremost, you're not going to get past this guy. Secondly, he's probably going to push you back. And thirdly, if he does land on top of you, you will be turned into a human pancake. He's that big. Anyways, guys, that was my video. Those were my thoughts. I had to do it. You know, he's going to be suiting up for his second game of the season in a short three or four days. So this video had to be made. Um, and I'm glad I did. I don't know whether it's been entertaining for you. If it has, please let me know down in the comment section below. Got any other suggestions, players, news stories, whatever it may be, hit me up in the comment section below. Or better yet, hit me up on Instagram. Because I'll always read those. Comments. They come and go, can I read them all? I'd love to, but I don't. Can I respond to them all? I'd really love to, but there's absolutely no way I could. So if you do want to contact me directly, if you want a guaranteed response, it might take a day, might take a week, but I'm definitely going to get back to you. Hit me up on Instagram. All of the links and everything else is in the description box below. And uh, it's been my pleasure. Jordan, keep inspiring. The masses, keep going. And... Um, Best of luck for the 2021 season. Will we see Jordan Mailata as an entry on the NFL's top 100 players of 2022? Wouldn't that be a blast? I've got no doubt. I've got no doubt that he keeps doing what he's doing. He's going to make that list, which means that I've seen him put a football helmet on for the very first time at the IMG Academy in 2018. Seen him get drafted. 
seen him in the locker room with the ukulele, and three years later, he gets paid, he's going to get the respect he deserves, and if I can do that reaction to Jordan Malata on the NFL Top 100 series, it's going to be a real special one. Guys, thank you for watching. If you are wondering about the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021, I am working on it. Like a dog. So thanks for watching. Thank you for staying patient. Hopefully you enjoy it. 100 videos. Hey, you're bound to enjoy one. And that's the main thing. So guys, thank you for watching. And peace out.